Hi, I'm Superior Frog. Today, I'm attempting to measure what the mysterious mini turbo stat helps you with in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. When you look at your build stats, you will only see how much speed, acceleration, weight, handling, and traction you have. In reality, there are 12 categories, not 5. One of the stats that is not shown is the mini turbo stat. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe community has determined that Mini Turbo is the most important stat. But if it's so important, what does it actually do? And how much does it affect the racer? Here is how I will measure. I will record a clip of a build with the worst possible Mini Turbo stat, taking a big turn and releasing a pink Mini Turbo. I will slow it down and measure how long it takes to charge a pink mini turbo after you charge a blue mini turbo, and how long the pink mini turbo will last. I will do the same thing with the build with the best possible mini turbo stat. Ideally, you will want to charge pink sparks as quickly as possible, and you will want your boosts to last as long as possible. Those things are what a high mini turbo stat should offer. So without further ado, let's get started! So here is Morton. He is on a combination with really bad mini turbo stat. So that means it's going to take him a longer time than any other combination um, to charge uh, a pink mini turbo. So this is slowed down. So it's not actually going to take him 17 seconds. So as you can see, it took him 17 slowed down seconds to charge a pink mini turbo. And now we are measuring slowed down how long it will take for a mini turbo to actually last. And the more the better for this one. Alright, so it's 18.57 seconds. So here is Lemmy driving the best mini turbo stat. I think it's supposed to take him a very short time to charge a pink mini turbo compared to Morton. See, it only took him 10.94 seconds. That's much less time. So now here is the time spent with the boost actually happening, and it should take him quite a bit more than 18.5 seconds. Alright, it just passed Morton. 22.91 seconds, that's quite a bit. So, as you can see, Mini Turbo is actually quite an important step. To be exact, it takes 57% longer to charge a pink Mini Turbo if you're on a bad mini turbo combo than if you're on a good mini turbo combo. And it l mini turbos last 23% longer if you are on a good mini turbo combo as opposed to a bad mini turbo combo. Also, shout outs to my dad for helping me make this video. He did a lot. Um, so thanks for watching everyone and bye.